the question is, can stress and turmoil create an environment through which ghosts can appear? Is it possible for an inanimate object to move on its own? And do you think that someone can be possessed? These are just some of the themes I'm gonna to touch on during today's story. But first, in case you don't know, I go by Frank Mizzy, and what I do on the channel is cover true stories the only way I know how. Make sure you stick around after the story so we can talk more details, but I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Let's go. Where the scares will have you jumping in the fear will be ignited But I hope you say you're down and take a trip cause you invited On the way to London where the kingdom is united Occurrences were cited in the type that always send chills Seeing something crazy now tell me would you attend still? Where they be praying still feeling they never been healed 1977 the small town and field Let me tell you Peggy was dealing with something shady Going crazy cause she lose her husband to another lady So concerned about her babies cause her children feeling crazy Rush. Two daughters, two sons, now she's helping them adjust As they're watching in disgust, hear them yelling to their horse Kids will blame themselves, thinking for the problem, they're the source Peggy reinforced with love, said that's a thought we don't endorse Relationship done run its course, and the result is a divorce And really is it easy, your emotions can't be scrambled Things can fall apart, look how quickly they're dismantled Maybe through the stress and uninvited guests was channeled Their home will come alive and then the world will go to shambles No idea that it would come, no they didn't Plan it first it happened to the little ones Margaret and Janet Even though they should be sleeping Something's keeping them awake As they're laying in the bed They can feel it getting shaked Oh it's really no mistake They will witness even more With no one near it Seeing furniture to slide across the floor Peggy hears the noise and gets annoyed without a doubt Yelling Girls it's time for bed All that fighting cut it out As she made her way to the room Time to lay the law No way she was prepared to lay her eyes on what she saw The dresser seemed to move without a hand to give a nudge Peggy tried to push it back But then it didn't budge Now they're all afraid Of course the kids are feeling it the most Does this mean the house is haunted? Are they dealing with a ghost? Because they can feel the presence And it's one that don't belong Knocking on the door Neighbor please come over something's wrong so so Vic and his son Gary, they were intrigued. No way that can happen. Yeah, that sounds like make believe. But still, we'll take a look, find the cause, and then we'll leave. Once inside, they're hearing sounds and how they're made, they can't conceive. They all were at a loss. Expressions looking blank. I mean, someone's playing games, right? This has to be a prank. But this joke is far from funny, cause this family's a wreck. It's 1 a.m. They call police and stop on by and do a check. Explain how what they saw, what they heard, they can't dismiss. Cops will walk the outside to make sure nothing's amiss. Does and offer you support Search we gotta cut it short Left with nothing to report Finding nothing at a source Then standing in the living room Before they said goodbye They all would bear witness That something went awry Suddenly a chair started rocking side to side Then moved several feet towards the wall It would glide Clearest day to all No second guessing what they saw Things flung through the air Off the shelves they would fall Noises that they hear Give some chills Makes their skin crawl In need of real help And there's no way that they can stall this gotta be the specialty They hold a proper title Need an expert that will come and tell them info that is vital Enter Maurice Gross Professional to take the task Legit or just the host He's the one you gotta ask Cause he would save him right Can see the fan don't like the stress So he would stay the night And plus he would invite the press They would set some cameras up To capture proof and nothing less You want the truth It's not a spoof Think your daughter is possessed Her mood is doing something Including something subtle is brewing Think that trouble's intruding Don't know what We'll encounter when we find what we're pursuing But I think my eyes will see me when I see just what I'm viewing It's hard to describe it cause there's nothing to compare Looking through the window block my eyes from the glare This is how I saw Janet, I promise you, I swear Like she's lying on her back but was floating in the air Quickly they would notice that she's the most impacted And he would note the changes and how the way she acted Would use it as a tool to tap into the spirit And ask a couple questions, she's replying when she hears it the deep voice would give a scare I died from a hemorrhage 
second in my favorite chair. Confirm the truth in words they heard were spoken by the dead. Bill Wilkins did pass away exactly how he said. Inside of the house on Green Street. Green Street used to be a quiet road. How fast things change on Green Street. Green Street, swear this house ain't a home. Everything so strange on Green Street. Green Street, now it's making sure you pay it no matter how it's priced on Green Street. Green Street, that's where you're gonna see the poster dice. Yikes. So let's continue the conversation. This small house on Green Street definitely earned its eerie reputation. The poltergeist took place from 1977 to 1979 and the family would experience everything from seeing things move on their own, hearing strange noises throughout the house, and even the youngest daughter would end up being held in the air by an invisible force. Before getting in touch with Maurice, the family reached out to the Daily Mirror, an uh, English newspaper. And as a result, a reporter, George Fellows, and a photographer, David Thorpe, were sent to the house. Unfortunately, they didn't capture the events on film, but their opinion was that this was not a prank being pulled by the kids. David was hit in the face by a toy, and both men confirmed that something strange was going on in the house. Maurice Gross, the expert that would come stay with the family, was a member of the Society for Psychical Research. The Society is a nonprofit organization in the United Kingdom, and its purpose is to understand events or abilities known to be psychic or paranormal. Gross's research in the home found that Janet was the most affected. When they heard the deep, low voice come from her small body, it was hard to believe that she was just acting. Through her, the spirit would say, my name is Bill, I'm a ghost, and even explained how he died. It was later learned that a man named Bill Wilkins did live and die in that house. Janet would eventually undergo medical testing and was found to be all around normal. Eventually, the strange event started to subside, and some would say that correlated with the family stress starting to lessen. These strange events had numerous witnesses. Maurice said this was a real life mystery. Do you think it's true? But that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. I hope you enjoyed today's story. I think this is the 10th full length video I've uploaded to the channel and that's pretty awesome. Still got a long way to go, but at the same time, we've come a long way from just thinking about uploading the first one. So if you feel so inclined, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and maybe share with someone else that you think may enjoy these stories as well. But either way, I can't wait to see you next time here on the channel. So until then, be safe. Peace.